Hey there, it's me, it's Rob. I know, I know what you're thinking. You're like, hey, that Rob guy, he hasn't posted a video in a really long time. It's true, I haven't. Kind of a bad content creator, not gonna lie. <laughs> Truth of the matter is, I haven't really found anything lately until today. Um, yeah, it's been real slow. Life's been real busy. Work's gotten kind of in the way of me hunting and stuff. But, finally hit up a garage sale or two in the past two days, and I finally got something halfway decent. So, let's hop into the pickups. All right, let's start with the, the measly peaslies here. Got a little wee bundle uh, from a garage sale. Oh, we've got Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort, which is always awesome. Um, but since the Nintendo Switch Sports came out, I would imagine the price on a lot of this stuff has probably gone down by a lot. But who knows? Maybe it still holds some value. Uh, the rest of the games are pretty awful. I think Tiger Woods, PGA Tour is probably halfway decent. But everything else, we got Zumba. I think it even has the Zumba band that goes with it. Let me see if I can find that. Zumba band. Anyways, it's a wee fit. A Wii. It's, it is the uh, reverse compatible version that can play GameCube games. So that is a bonus. Um, but it's just a Wii. I couldn't say no. I turned it, couldn't turn it down for $30. I figured $30 I could probably at least flip it and make a little bit of money on it. Now I did test it. Everything does work. Although the disk drive makes a really, really loud humming noise when it's running. So... I gotta see if I can try and figure out a way to get it cleaned out. But if I can get it cleaned out and hopefully get it sold, it came with the two Wiimotes and this one has the adapter for the Wii Motion Plus and this one is the black one that has it already built in. So that is one bonus from this little pickup. So nothing too crazy to write home about. All right, next we got a couple of games from Goodwill. Goodwill has been really awful lately. Uh, it was my go-to for a while. I was finding all kinds of good stuff, but uh, I still go almost every other day, and I have not been finding anything halfway decent. I figured Monopoly would be fun, and then I have years four or one through four, so I figured I'd get the years five through seven for the Lego Harry Potter. Uh, Lego games are usually pretty fun, so I figure why not pick that up. All right. So, moving on to the today's garage sale. Today we found a garage sale, and it didn't start till 2, and I got there right at 2.30, and we got all kinds of goodies. Uh, all these crazy action figures were, I think, there's a bunch of them that were in a bin that were like 8 for a dollar, and the rest of them were like 25 cents or 50 cents, and it's like that pretty awesome Marvel series action figures. We got either Iron Man or War Machine or whatever this is. We got Vision and Miss Marvel and Spider Man and some weird looking Deadpool thing and Morbius and Thor and a little Bendy Venom guy and a Bendy Spider Man. A couple of newer Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle things. We got a Hulk, Star Wars thing, a couple of bobbleheads, DBZ action figures, and then I don't know what this is from, but it looked cool. And then we also got this Lego Minecraft set. It's missing a couple of the actual figures, but I, got, I only paid seven bucks for this box, and there's a bunch of Legos that are still brand new in the plastic inside. Um, so just trying to build my son's Lego collection, so I figured that was a pretty decent price for a big box of Legos. All right, and then the big score over here. This is the thing that I can't believe that I found. Look at this giant Millennium Falcon. It is huge. It takes up half of my nerd table over here. And I was having a hard time finding which version of the Millennium Falcon this was. Looked around on eBay, couldn't find anything because I couldn't find anything that had these three buttons in the front. I looked on, uh, you know, Amazon, couldn't find anything. I finally searched up a bunch of stuff on google and i found out that this is the star wars vintage collectors millennium falcon smugglers run version <laughs> and brand new in the box this thing goes for like anywhere from like five to seven hundred dollars 
this is definitely not new in the box. We are missing pieces. We are missing a door. Um, the, the other gun that's on the bottom is missing. Um, the feet, the little landing feet that go on the bottom are also missing. I'm sure there's a couple other pieces that are missing. But the thing does turn on. And it does work. With the blast shield down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? Wow. And check out these lights in the back. You see? You can do it. It lights up and everything. It's got all kinds of noises. We got the little doohickey here for the radio thing. We'll move it. This thing right here moves the guns. And that's not the coolest part. We got a little shot of the cockpit there. That's a pretty detail. Um, oh, I didn't even know that that did that. These must be uh, crazy gun buttons. But the details on the inside, when you open up the inside here, you can see it looks just like it did in the movie with all the crazy stuff. We've got the let the Wookiee win. <laughs> And all the other stuff in here. So obviously it looks like, you know, there's a floor panel missing there and there. There's some other stuff probably missing too. But this thing is insane. And I can't believe I got this for 20 bucks. Um, I'm probably just going to try and flip it. I'm not like the hugest Star Wars fan. Don't get me wrong. I like the movies and everything. But I don't really plan on like collecting other collectible things for, for Star Wars. But I couldn't let this sit at a garage sale for 20 bucks and just let it hang. So... I just thought that was a ridiculously good deal for 20 bucks. Hopefully I can flip it for some money um, and then dump it into some of the things that I'm a little bit more uh, passionate about. But yeah, awesome, awesome find for 20 bucks. So that is all that we found in the past couple days. Like I said, I apologize. I know it seems like my channel's been dead lately, but I haven't been finding things. And if I'm not finding things, I'm not going to put out crappy videos for you guys. So... Um, these are my pickups. Uh, hope to see you in the future and I uh, hope you have a good day.